Hi, it's Keith at Clint and welcome to my video channel. Well, today what we're going to be looking at is carrying on from last week um, where we did a we attempted to make a, a maintenance uh, job on the on the screw of this one of the screws. It was a simple maintenance job and it shows you what, what could go wrong. You can, you can check back on it. Anyway <coughs> We covered this uh, mounting of the collet chuck which is there so what I want to do today is very quickly is to show you the procedure for changing the collet chuck so we're going to dismantle take the college can't see take, <laughs> take the collet chuck off the machine in order to put another chuck on it okay so here we go There are three ways to um, remove the collet chuck, so we're going to look at <coughs> discuss all three of them. So the first one is that um, you see the collet chuck there. That's the spindle protector. Now on the spindle protector, there are holes drilled or uh, various holes, at various intervals. Okay, there. So you could use a C-spanner if you've got one. And I can tell you, <clears throat> not all my years of using these things, um, I've never acquired a C-spanner for that. So we use a different method. And one of the methods we use is to um, let me get focused onto it. <clears throat> is to engage the spindle lock. That's the spindle lock which we, which we spoke about before, if you remember, and release the, the drawbar so you can see that chuck is releasing. And then, if it's not wedged in too tightly on the taper, unfasten it like that, and there, short, firm, turn anti-clockwise and it releases this so I'm not going to take it out well let me show you I'm not going to take it out altogether because before we do that we always use the lathe bed protector piece of wood stop any metal objects falling onto the lathe bed we discussed this in an earlier video that you can catch. So it's all very well. <clears throat> this release quite easily. We can take it out. But I'll show you. See, now that's released the collet. So I'm going to take the collet out, put it somewhere safe, where you remember where you've put it, of course, and then you find that the this has released the collet holder. Very easy, you might think. Well, it might not be so easy. When you come to do it if it's been on the machine a long time so we'll look at another method of releasing it so what i'm going to do is put it back in i'll tighten, tighten the uh, spindle protector and <coughs> sometimes you can't get enough purchase on it if you've not got a c-spanner so we still we still use the spindle lock button feature and if you cannot uh, turn it if it's tight now because I push it in rather tightly so what you can do is to you could put a, a drift and um, <coughs> a punch onto that and hit it smartly with a hammer and the problem is there 
it's awkward to get the spindle lock into its position. <coughs> so <coughs> the other method which I the other method which I uh, use is very simple. You remember this? This is where we resurface re 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 the a soft faced mallet. You could use a copper faced mallet on this one. What you do then is just to simply hold it Let's spin, hold the spindle lock, we won't get onto the spindle lock there, and, <clears throat> and also keep the machine switched off. And then just smartly, it's tight, I can't, I can't unfasten that by hand, but if you just smartly there. That's that's released it. So it's released it. I can try to turn it. It won't. So hit it again with a hammer, and that should eject. There you are. It's ejected. Okay. So there we've got the the college holder off. So then we mentioned. Another method, and the other method always works without fail, and it's the one I usually use. You have to be a bit careful. Oh, I hurt my hand doing that. Anyway, uh, you have to be a bit careful on on, on, the, on this one. So what I'm going to do is to put the the, the college holder back in into, into the spindle. Tighten that. That's that. We've already removed this, so I'm not going to put it back in. So what we need to do is to remove the drawbar. I'm going to remove the draw the drawbar. Put that somewhere. What you can do is to get a piece of aluminium, okay, it's an aluminium rod that was small enough diameter to go through the spindle of the machine at the back. And the reason it's, I suggest an aluminium rod is because we're going to hit the uh, end of this. College holder, okay. So we do that just so you can see this. Well, there you go. Putting it into the into there. It is a little bit difficult juggling cameras around at the same time, but you get the idea. Then. We're going to hit it. The wood is there in case it comes out and drops. But I usually just hold my hand there and just come like that. That stopped it falling. And we can release it. Now, why we use aluminium is because that's metal and the, the collet. The collet fits into there. Oops. Like so. And you must remove the collet first before before you attempt that method. Because we don't want to damage this surface there. So no shooting piece of steel that are harder than that. So you could use uh, a copper faced uh, bar but it's an aluminium piece it's much easier to just use like it doesn't damage doesn't damage that doesn't damage that but it won't damage that but you take this out first okay so that's the way to do it I'll put it down there but now we've got to remove the 
spindle protector completely. So remove that, take out the, the, the knocking bar, that's that, and then we've already released this earlier if you remember, so I'll just screw it off. That's it. And that's that's how to that's the removing <coughs> the removal process and now it's it's ready. I'll move this to one side. Now it's ready to mount another chuck, which we will be doing shortly. Because we've got to address another factor um, on, on next week's video. Because if you remember, on the previous one, we jammed the. We managed to get the. Just let me show you this. Can we see the uh, rotating centre was jammed into the self ejecting tailstock so it wouldn't eject? We've got to get that out. So. What I'm going to do is that's going to be the subject for next week's video because there's various ways of doing that as well. So for now, if you like this little hint and tip, give us a like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything and you can look back on some other videos and um, uh, I'll give you a few hints and tips what you won't find in textbooks. So give us a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next week when we're going to attempt to remove that jammed rotating centre, which is in the tail stop. We're trying to remove it without damaging it. Okay, so I'll see you next time. Bye. You know, I can't switch this video off for some reason. It doesn't want to switch off. So I'll try it again. Okay, for now. Bye.